Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today we're gonna talk about tampons again. It's been, why did I hold it like a knife? But we're gonna talk about tampons. I made a video years ago about like tampons, like things I wish I would have known, how to use it, tips, that sort of thing. It's very popular because a lot of people have questions about tampons because when you first are like trying to figure them out, like it's like trying to fly to space. It's really intimidating and scary. But once I figured out tampons and how to wear them, whatever, they became my go-to along with panty liners until like early to mid, probably mid twenties, we'll say, when I discovered menstrual cups and that became my go-to for years and years and years until I had babies. And now we're back to using tampons because my vagina just doesn't like cups and discs and tampons still kind of work. It's my pelvic floor. We just have a regular tampon. I have been using August brand. This is not August brand. This is Lola. It is 100% cotton. It's supposed to be better for you, but I do not like these tampons. They don't, I don't feel like these expand if you're gonna put anything into your vagina, tampons, cups, discs, spermicide, lube, whatever it is, you wanna make sure it has good ingredients and there's not harmful chemicals leaching into your body. And a lot of mainstream tampons and pads have not great ingredients in them, like rayon, dioxin, pesticide residues, fragrances, chlorine, and BPAs. And we don't want those things in our vagina. Today we're gonna to talk about how to use tampons, common mistakes people make when they first start using them, some of the common questions or fears people search for or ask online, and how to ask your parents for period products if you're nervous about that. Because when I first got my period, I didn't want anyone to to know, not my sister, not my mom, who both had had their periods for my sister a few years and my mom for a few decades. A I don't have a daughter, but like a daughter asking me for tampons and I, oh. I love my boys, but I wish I could have a daughter just to experience welcoming them into womanhood in like an inviting, comfortable, empowering way, but I'll have to live vicariously through other people's daughters how to use tampons. Biggest piece of advice I can give you if you're new to using period products that you wear inside of you is to get a little handheld mirror and check it out down there. I know it's like, we just have such an issue with looking at ourselves, but I promise it's fascinating. And also it's gonna help you understand what you are doing down there, where you are putting stuff and where not to put stuff. And it's just, it's gonna make using period products so much easier. So get a mirror, fiddle around, figure out where your vaginal opening is and all that good stuff. Like I promise it's uncomfortable, but get a mirror and check it out. The best way that I can explain to use a tampon. Most of the tampons that we have here in the US have these little plastic applicators. So you want to hold the tampon with your dominant hand and there's usually like a little grippy spot at the base. So there's, this is, you can kind of see how it's split. So this is the part that like you plunge in why did I say plunge? You like push in, but this is the part that like doesn't move as you're using it. So I hold the base of the tampon with my thumb and middle finger. I use my pointer finger to like push it when the time comes. With the other hand, this is the part that's very important. The first time I tried to use a tampon, I just went like this and just try to put it in without moving anything. Your vulva and your labia, people hate those words, but they are so normal, so beautiful. They come in all shapes, colors, you name it. It's all normal. But you have to move your labia out of the way to get to the vaginal opening. So use your dominant hand to control the tampon. Use your other hand and you can use your pointing finger and your middle finger or whatever. And literally it, it sounds, don't get squeamish. You have to like spread apart your labia to make access like to give access to your actual vaginal opening, okay? This is very important. This, when you are checking yourself out with a mirror, hold the mirror with your dominant hand and then with your non-dominant hand. Do as you would to like spread apart your labia or your lips and so you can see, oh, that's my vaginal opening. That's where the tampon goes. I promise it helps. <laughs> Move everything out of the way, use this hand and this tip you want to start inserting into your vagina. It doesn't hurt. If you have a period flow and you're bleeding, that causes enough like lubrication to help slip inside. You want to angle the tampon towards your like tailbone. So you don't wanna go straight up. If I am standing like this, I want to angle it like towards 
my back or my butt. So I wanna go in kind of that. And you will feel like there will be resistance to where it doesn't wanna go. It will find its way up into your vagina. You wanna push this main part of the applicator all the way in until these two fingers are like just in, not inside, I don't wanna say inside, but like if this is like your labia and this is your vagina right here, you wanna get it to where you're like, you're up, up close and personal you are your fingers are just like in there like then once your fingers are flush with your vaginal opening then it is time to take this pointer finger and push the tampon in so this is what you're doing with your hand you want to get right there and then push this all the way until it pops and then you simply just, with these two fingers, pull it out. And this tampon string is gonna be hanging out of your vagina like this. And you just, don't worry about that. You can, it doesn't matter where this goes. I usually just kind of like pull my underwear up and it just sits in there like that. That is how you put a tampon in. I hope that wasn't like too overwhelming, but it's super easy. You don't want this to like move out as you're pushing. You want this to stay firmly here until it does that and then slowly pull it out. To remove your tampon, the biggest thing I can say is make sure it's been enough time. A good way to know it's been enough time is the blood will start to come down the string. And so if you see like, oh yeah, my string's bloody, then you know it's probably enough time to where you can pull it out. Not supposed to leave tampons in for more than, more than eight hours. And I would say, depending on your flow, usually every like four to six hours is when you need to switch it. Nothing's gonna like pop or get snagged or injured if you pull it out. Like I remember there's one time I had to have a friend look up in there and try to help me because I was like too timid and I couldn't get it out, but I just wasn't pulling hard enough and it was too dry. So all you do is you grab the string. There's usually like a little nut or something. I use my dominant hand to pull it out, but then with my other hand, I just have like a piece of toilet paper. And so I pull it out, pop, and I pop it onto the toilet paper, roll it up, throw it away put a new one in. It's intimidating, but I promise like after a couple times you got it and then you can't forget it. <laughs> it's like riding a bike. Common mistakes. I already mentioned one, trying to remove the tampon when it is not uh, saturated enough, when there's not, it hasn't been in there long enough. Another issue if it's been the eight hours and it's still too dry is either you're spotting and don't really need a tampon or you're using too heavy of an absorbency for that tampon. I think this one is a regular. So you have light, regular, super, and like super plus. I think there might be like extra light ones, but I would suggest when you're starting off with tampons to get a light absorbency and maybe a regular absorbency. That way, just till you figure it out. Like I'm definitely in a place where I'm like super, <laughs> sometimes regular, but usually I need super. So you'll figure that out. But if it's not saturated enough by the end of the eight hours, you need to have a lighter absorbency. And if you are blowing through them, like every two hours, you need to have a higher absorbency. Another common mistake, which I touched on, is not putting the applicator in far enough. I think when I first try to put a tampon in, I literally just like put the tip in and then try to push it. And then as I like pushed it out, the tampon was literally like hanging out of me like this. That's not how you use a tampon. She has to be all the way in there. You don't want this to like move out as you're pushing it. This needs to solidly stay right there as you push it. I also touched on this one, not using your other hand to move things out of the way, to spread apart your labia so you can easily access your vaginal opening. It becomes second nature. You gotta use both hands when it comes to inserting any period product, whether it's tampon, cup, disc. The next thing we're gonna talk about is asking parents because I feel like this is a very, people are just very uncomfortable. Some people have an issue asking their parents for tampons. They think that their, you know, their mom's gonna say no that there's something like dirty or wrong about using tampons. It's not, it's a period product. It's just like using a Band-Aid or a sock. Like there's nothing sexual about using a tampon. You're not going to pop your cherry using a tampon, any of that. <laughs> no, 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 no. My piece of advice or the thing I want you to think about when asking a parent is if it is your mother, she has had a period for decades, years. I am 31, I'll be 32 this year, so it's almost been 20 years that I've had a period. My children are 
two and three. So if they were girls, by the time they were menstruating, I would have, you know, it would, it would have been like 30 some years that I would have had a period. So your mom has plenty of experience with having periods and using period products and she won't bat an eyelash. Like I bet she will be more concerned with making you feel comfortable than like questioning or judging you for wanting a tampon. Like, no, it's just, it's not gonna happen. If your mom only uses pads herself and doesn't like tampons, like she still will understand I think she'll still understand like the desire to do it. Um, and if it's your dad, I promise he's gonna wanna just make you as comfortable and unashamed. And I have found that men are so open and understanding and accommodating when it comes to periods. And I promise probably all you have to say is like, hey, next time you go to the store, like I wanna try some tampons. So do you think you could pick me up some with the groceries? Like, hey, I really wanna try these out. I think it would be uh, more helpful with like sports or swimming or whatever you like. I think I'd feel more comfortable with tampons. You know, can you, do you think you could pick me up and then kind of talk me through like, what I wouldn't give to be that person that gets to explain like outside the door or like have that face-to-face -face conversation with a girl of like, okay, this is how you use it. <sighs> Someday, my moment will come, I'm sure. But I promise they're gonna be so understanding and accommodating and just like want to make it the best experience for you. So literally all you have to do is ask, just say, hey, I wanna try tampons, can you pick me some up? Or like, hey, can you get me tampons? So then I thought it would be fun to look up like common searches online when it comes to tampons. And so I just kind of wrote some of them down. Number one, a tampon cannot get lost inside of you. I, I had this fear, I had this fear. I thought it would just get sucked up and never be seen again. And then I would have to go to the hospital and I would die. Your cervix is not going to open up unless you are giving birth. Your tampon is not gonna get lost inside of you. If anything, it's gonna get like shoved different way, but most of the time, this little string is gonna be in there. Worst case scenario, you can reach in there. You can physically reach in there and pull this out. It's not gonna get lost. I've never had a tampon get lost inside of me. I have put two tampons in because I forgot the first one is in, in there. Alcohol was involved and I did that twice. <laughs> <laughs> but they both came out, never got lost to me, so it's not gonna happen. Tampons are not going to, I don't even know how to like, they're not going to break your hymen, they're not going to pop your hymen, they're not gonna like pop your cherry, take your virginity, any sort of, like we're not even gonna go into like virginity, but tampons, no. Tampons should not be used to absorb cervical fluid if it's just like discharged cervical fluid, no, if you're super uncomfortable with the amount of cervical fluid you are producing or discharge you're producing, you can throw in a panty liner, but it's also really important to give your vagina time to breathe. Our fluid and our discharge fluctuates throughout our cycle. So there may be a couple days where you're like, yeah, I definitely want you know a little thin panty liner in there, but never, 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 never use a tampon for fluid or discharge. Tampons should never be flushed down the toilet. Turns out a lot of women, a lot of girls have been flushing tampons and they just didn't know it. You're not supposed to put any, like flush anything down the toilet unless it's toilet paper. Like people will flush tampons. They will use those flushable wipes. Don't put any of it in your toilet. <laughs> Wrap it up in some toilet paper or the little wrapper and throw it away. No one's no one is digging through trash cans. Maybe if there is not a trash can available, I feel like there's been a situation in which there wasn't a trash can in the bathroom and I literally wrapped it and I used tampon in toilet paper and put it in my bag and threw it away later. I didn't flush down the toilet. <laughs> Tampons go in your vagina, which is separate from your urethra where you pee. So you can pee while you're using, while you're wearing a tampon. Apparently that's something that guys don't understand. They think that women have to remove their tampons to pee, but women have three holes. Tampons are a good choice if you need a period product while you are swimming or in water. Um, don't use pads, they will just inflate like diapers. The last one is tampons should be changed every four to six hours, no longer than eight. That's where toxic shock syndrome comes in. So err on the side of caution, four to six hours. If you are sleeping with a tampon in, you wanna put it in right before you go to bed and 
make sure you're waking up eight hours later. If you sleep longer than eight hours or you know you want to or whatever it may be, wear a pad. Don't take the risk of leaving a tampon in too long overnight. And these are just things to remember. So I think that is kind of all I wanted to go over today. If I missed anything obvious, let me know. I love talking about tampons and period products and all that good stuff. I hope I answered some questions. You got this. Tampons are normal, periods are normal, vaginas, vulvas, labias, they're all normal, they're beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.